Hello friends, this video on the fundamental unit of life part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We will now start with multicellular organisms. So many cells constitute this organisms. That's quite obvious. Multicellular, that means many cells. So many cells are present in this organism. So there is a division of labor in multicellular organisms. What do we mean by division of labor? That means the work is divided between different cells. For example, let us suppose you have, let us take this example. Let us suppose you have 10 people to work on a project, right? Now, in that project work involves so many different things. Maybe first you have to, uh, let us suppose you have to construct a house and you have got 10 laborers with you. Right? So what do you do? You actually divide the work among 10 of them. You ask two of them to get water. You ask the remaining two to carry the cement and all from one place to another. You ask the other two to start digging the ground. So similarly, you can divide the work amongst different people. Then what will happen? Many different types of works will happen simultaneously. Right? So in a very similar fashion in multicellular organisms, there is a division of labor. That means some cells perform a specific functions, few other cells perform some other function, again some um, another group of cells perform some other function. So that is how the, the cells perform their function. So there is division of labor in multicellular organisms. Now some organisms have cells of various kinds. So it is not necessary that one organism will have same type of cells throughout its body. Sometimes it also happens that the one organism has many different types of cells. The example of such organism is human beings. In human beings in all of us, our, all of our body, what do we see? Somewhere we have the, somewhere in, near the brain we have the nerve cells. Somewhere uh, in the kidney, we have the kidney cells and those cells are not similar to each other. They, they look different. They, their functions are also different, right? So sometimes it also happens that one organism has many cells and the cells are of different kinds. So let us look at the example. The first example and the best example that comes up in our mind is human beings. So in human beings, just look at the variety of cells you have. We have smooth muscle cells. We have blood cells, we have nerve cells, we have fat cells, we have bone cells. So just look at the variety which you have and just look at their appearance. Their appearance are also different, right? So the, the appearance of a bone cell, if you look at the cell, it is a flowery structure, right? So the appearance of a bone cell is so very different from the appearance of a blood cell or from the appearance of a smooth muscle cell, right? So, however, the organism is just one organism, but the variety of cells which are present in the organism is different, right? And each of these cells have a specific function to perform. For example, the function of the bone cell and the blood cell are not the same. Similarly, the function of a fat cell and a nerve cell is not the same, right? So, that is how uh, the... Um, structure is I mean in a multicellular organism so the most important thing in a multicellular organism is division of labor okay so now we spoke now that we are clear with what are unicellular and what are multicellular organisms let us now try to see what is a cell made up of so till now we saw that okay cells are the structural and functional units of every living organism. Now let us look at the structure inside one cell. So let us now concentrate only on a single cell. We will see what is it made up of. So a cell is made up of components called cell organelles. So even inside a cell, you have different components and these components are known as cell organelles. Now how was it first observed that cell is also made up of cell organelles? So a cell is able to leave and perform all its functions because of these organelles. And you see, even if a cell is performing some function, it will not happen magically, right? So a cell consists of different components called cell organelles. Now these cell organelles each perform a specific function. So the functions which are performed by each of the cell organelles together make a cell to leave and to perform its functions. 
All cells have the same organelles irrespective of their function and organism they are found in. That means whether it is a nerve cell or a bone cell or a, a blood cell, whatever cell it is, the cell will have the same organelles. That means the components of the cell will remain the same even if the cells the cell types are different or the cells are present in different organisms. Let us suppose a cell inside a human being and a cell inside an, an any other animal, for example, elephant, right? The components or the cell organelles will remain the same inside both the cases, whether it is an, the cell inside an elephant's body or a cell inside, an, uh, inside a human's body. The cell organelles will still remain the same. So that means the structure of a cell cell basically remains more or less the same in all organisms right so now in this lesson we will concentrate or we will study in detail the structure of a cell we will talk about all the cell organelles which make up a cell so what are the different organelles present in a cell so here we have given a picture which gives a an idea about the various organelles so the organelles which are present are nucleolus nucleus and inside every cell you have a nucleus. So here this numbering actually tells us where these organelles are present. So right now I am not concentrating much on describing each of them because we will discuss each of them in detail in the later slides. So the next one is ribosomes, vesicles, rough endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, cytoskeleton, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, vacuole, cystosol, lyso lysosome, centrioles with the within centrosome and cell membrane so these are the various cell organelles that means these are the various components of a cell and this picture actually gives us an idea of how a cell looks like so inside cell you have so many different components arranged in this fashion so now the purpose of the remaining lesson is to discuss about the structure and function of each of these cell organelles right Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.